Welcome everyone back to Forza Horizon 4. So uh, yeah, just a quick update about what's gone on since the uh, previous episode, which was uh, recorded uh, a while before uh, the actual episode was uploaded. And uh, yeah, because I'm having to earn money to uh, buy cars for reviews, uh, upgrades for uh, how fast will it go, and obviously buying the cars for that series as well, I'm having to do uh, these uh, timed uh, events. Now they're not part of the actual uh, main uh, campaign, they are just timed events, and as you can see, they w this one would run out in six days and two hours, as uh, the season has also changed to autumn. And uh, yeah, I'm having to do those kind of events purely to get more money together so I can, you know, do more videos. So yeah, that's the only thing that's really changed, and obviously, barn finds have popped up while doing those uh, races, which I have yet to film. But yeah, that's just a, a, just a quick update on that and why my, uh, my uh, rank and my. Uh, uh, the rounds on certain uh, types of events will be a bit different than uh, they were in the previous episode. Uh, it's just purely, like I said, to get some more money together, because otherwise, yeah, I'd be uh, not able to do the kind of reviews that I want to do uh, at the time I want to do them. So, uh, yeah, that's the only reason. But, uh, yeah, we're going to travel now to go do the uh, first uh, Horizon Festival drag strip. So, uh, yeah, let's get there in this McLaren. So, yeah. Those events will just be done in my own time. It's purely because, like I said, get more money and uh, obviously it will unlock wheel spins and uh, give me extra rewards for doing them, which will also go towards buying vehicles for other videos. So yeah, the main races won't be done off recording, obviously. It will just be a case of those timed ones. So yeah, let's uh, see what this uh, see what these drag races are all about. Let's see what cars we're allowed to go in. Is it easy? In 400 yards. Turn left. Turn left. That's on the actual drag strip. Okay. Pretty neat that I've actually put one of these in the uh, festival. Right, so we get to use modern supercars. Good job we're actually in one then. Is this the fastest so 7.9 acceleration, 7.5, All the Jaguar has more acceleration. This GR is pretty good as well. To be honest, there's not much in terms of a straight, so I think we'll actually go for this in terms of uh, doing this drag race. All wheel drive is good for getting off the line. Well, I hope it is anyway in this game. Obviously, it depends who we're up against. If we're up against a uh, Gatti Sheeran, for instance, I doubt we'll win. But, uh, yeah. What is that? That's a McLaren? Looks like it is. Yeah, McLaren, GTR. Come on. Oh, got an Audi. Oh, that Audi's far quicker than I thought it would ever be. Oh, we got... Oh, what did we get? Sixth. Ah, yeah, that wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, this Jaguar is not as quick as I thought it would have been, to be honest. Acceleration time uh, stat deceived me. Let's try that again in a different car. We might try out the McLaren or maybe the GTR because uh, that was a car that was ahead of us. Out the GTR. See if this can get us any better. Get in a podium position at least, that'll be alright. I'd rather at least be able to slightly improve on our sixth position, because that's not the, exactly the best position we could have got. Alright, looks like we're up against the McLaren again. And a Lamborghini as well. the 
little shock and awe of that Lamborghini's beating me. And the Ferrari FF. Or what did we get that time? Fourth. Well, it's an improvement. It's better than the last time we actually beat a, uh, the same kind of Nissan GTR as us as well, so... Yeah, you don't get much credits or uh, influence for these, so I'm not really too fussed about not getting in any higher. Just want to see if I could improve on that previous sixth position, is all. Right, let's see what other races we've got to do. Right, uh, there's a cross country one near us. There's two actually near us. Three near us, actually, and a street race. Well, we'll go do this street race, and then we'll do the cross country one up past it. So we'll uh, travel there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Not far. Yards, turn right. That will cut the corner completely and we'll go across here. Recalculating Save some time. Four hundred yards. Turn right. Turn right. Oh dear. Ah, no, not feet. That's fine. <laughs> Doing some stunts in the Nissan GTR there. Four There's a speed zone here. Yeah, so you've got to keep an average up, average speed up. I'm failing miserably at that. Sixteen point eight three, I think that was. Two stars. Well, that's pretty decent, especially since I hadn't been around there before. Right. Obviously, because this is a street race, it's going to ask us to go in the same vehicle that we're in right now. So I'm going to choose a different one because we've been in the GTR before, and I want to be in something slightly different. Uh. Been in the Mustang. I know. Let's go in the McLaren because we did start off and we didn't really get to drive that all that well. So we'll get in the McLaren wherever it is. MC, 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 MC. There we go. Yes, I would like it delivered to me. Thank you very much. I wish this delivery service was a little bit quicker because the loading time is quite long, just for merely swapping out a car. Right, come on, there we go, right. Let's see what this McLaren can do when we're racing against other people. Rather than just being out on the open road. Because, yeah, this car, even though I'm not a massive fan of it, is still a good handling, pretty damn quick car. So it should hopefully do well here. It is raining, though, and obviously we are rear-wheel drive, but I'm hopeful that it won't affect us too much. Well, we aren't the only rear wheel drive car here either, so if we do struggle we won't be the only one doing so. Mercedes with a bicycle on the roof got in the way there. Have to bounce off that wall to avoid it. Must have placed it because of that though. Oh dear. Oh dear. The inexperience with this car is showing through. perfect condition to try out a new supercar that I've not driven on this game yet. No, oh, another Mercedes getting in the way.
badly here. Should have stuck with the GTR at least, uh, a car that I have driven a fair bit. Trying to be original is not always a good thing. <laughs> That's annoying. But I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I've always maintained that if I'm not going to do a race like that, well, first time round, there's no point wasting your time trying to do it again. It's just something I have to do in my own time. But nonetheless, we still get plenty of money and a, a decent amount of influence out of that, so... We've uh, gone up to street scene round five. Got a very not useful phrase there to oh, that's unlocked. Yeah, I'm not enjoying the amount of... Uh, that's the cut -off. A lot of really solid drivers are going home, but you're through. What can I say? Only the fastest survive in street scene. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not really enjoying the uh, kind of um, the amount of uh, clothes and phrases and horns that you can win over cars and money. It's uh, something that I've seemed to have won a lot more of that kind of stuff than cars or money. And quite frankly, this is a car game, and money and cars are far more use than horns and phrases that I'm not going to use, and most likely clothes I'm not going to use as well, especially when they're. Uh, stuff that I don't like the look of, so uh, yeah, that part of this game is annoying, because a lot of wheel spins and a lot of rewards have been wasted on that kind of stuff. I mean, the amount of super wheel, I'll, I'll even prove it now, I, I guarantee I'll get, I'll have used this wheels, oh well, I've got a message, I thought I had a wheel spin. What's this about? Uh, gifts. Ah, right, there we go then. If I don't get a, if I don't get a car or a money, and then I've just proved my point. If not, then I've just made myself look like an idiot. Yeah, made myself look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm guessing that might be because of the VIP thing, but that is a lot of money nonetheless, so that's helpful. But yeah, most of the time I just get clothes, horns of something I don't like. Well, there we go. An open trilby and a Mexican hat dance. I don't need either of those. The Audi TTRS is decent, but it's hardly the best car I could have won, but. At least it is a car. But yeah, nonetheless, that's uh, kind of proving my point there. You have arrived at your destination. So it's a little bit annoying to have those things replace cars and money. Right, sports utility heroes. We've got the F Pace. We've used a Range Rover before, so we'll uh, try out the F Pace. See what this thing can do. See what Jaguar going into the SUV market can do. Again, another car company that I think didn't really need to do it but they have done so let's see what it could be made of. Another Jaguar to the left of us. Uh, something else on the other side. Jaguars seem to be the popular one here along with the VW tw Tuaregs. Yeah, it's just Jaguars and VWs. <laughs> Hard land in there. Ooh, a lot of standing water. Oh, get through it. There we go. Warwick has quite a large V10 uh, diesel engine in it, so plenty of torque, but not much in the way of power. But then neither is this Jaguar all that powerful. But it is quite lightweight, which is obviously useful. Ooh, back into some more water. We are in an SUV, otherwise we'll be uh, struggling to get for that. Out the way, sheep. Oh, 
that's pretty easy. Did we finish first though? Yeah, just. Oh, we slightly oversteered a bit there into the final bit of that course and as you can see another F pace was very close to beating us there. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it looks like the F pace is the king of that uh, route out of those cars. And only one Tuareg in the top three. Another 10,000 credits to our name. Nearly 4,000 new points. Good, good, good. Need to level up again. Yeah, I've leveled up a fair bit doing those uh, timed events. Which is obviously again helpful because we get wheel spins out of it like this one. But they're only useful if we get a car or money. If we get a t-shirt or something, that's not very good. But the 170 grand is very good. Thank you. Finally getting some luck on these things. Right. Let's see what else we can do. I think we might do... What, what's close? There is another cross-country event. That's it's mostly cross-countries down here. Uh, there is a dirt one up here, so we'll go do that one. And then I think we'll uh, do a... Uh, what are they called again? A showcase. Yeah, we'll do a showcase. We've got a couple of them to do. We've got this one over here, which is a Delta Wing showcase. Whatever that is. And yeah, we've got a... Uh, Halo experience showcase as well, probably in the Warthog in that. So yeah, we'll go do this cross country, uh, this dirt one. Let's see what we get to race around in. And then we'll uh, do one of those showcase events. You're on the wrong side of the road. You're in Britain, not in the US. So yeah, as far as modern SUVs go, this isn't half bad. It's certainly not the worst out there and the fact it actually looks pretty good is part of the reason why it's not that bad. But I'd much prefer a sports car or sports uh, saloon or anything really over a SUV. quite frankly unless it's got all those like kind of like locking diffs and adjustable ride height etc like that there's really no point in having an SUV to be honest because if it can't go off, off seriously go off road then there's no real point in it quite frankly and that's a major problem with those crossovers because a lot of them can't go off road despite having that slight additional ride height. And I just don't see the point in them. Um, it's a damn shame that most car companies these days are either dedicating nearly all of their lineup to uh, crossovers. Like Ford, for instance, apparently the only uh, non crossover they're doing in America these days is the uh, off, or off road kind of vehicle, anyway. Like pickups and stuff like that is in Mustang. That's the only real vehicle they're doing these days that isn't a high riding, slightly off road kind of thing. Right, we can go in sports utility heroes again, but I'd rather go in something different because we've already used one before. So, let's go in. Something that can go off road but isn't really something we've used yet. Modern Rally. Extreme Off-Road. Have we got anything in there? Oh, we've only got the... I know, we'll buy a car then. Since we've got some money out of all of that, we'll buy one. Mm -hmm. I've always liked this Ranger, to be honest. It's got pretty good launch. Decent acceleration. Then again, the bowler. I'll go for the bowler. It's a hefty 200 grand, but like I said, we earned plenty of money out of some of those wheel spins before. So we're getting something new. Certainly not the most expensive one out of that lot that we could have bought, so. It's probably a bargain considering the things it can do. Go away, 
very rubbish music. Granted, I don't have ads on my videos anymore because I don't have enough subscribers, but I can still get flagged up for copyright, and I don't want that, quite frankly. Right. Do me proud, bowler. Do me proud. section for such wide vehicles. Diesel powered mini next to us. At least we're in a podium position already. We're only a fifth of the way through. Warthog and um, that's a Ford F-150. Oh, the diesel mini is coming through. Two things a mini should never be. A large and B a diesel. And that's both. Granted it is a, a racing off-roader version. But still it's based on I think the countryman and uh, I hate that car. <laughs> Please don't put one of them on t uh, playground games, because even though it would be a, a good way of venting some anger at such a thing, it would be a wasted space in the uh, DLC. gaining and then I failed at that corner. Well, we have better uh, top speed than these two. Oh, it's a, is it in, oh, it's a Nissan Loria. Yeah, no wonder I may well to overtake him. Then again, the Ford F-150, the new one, is hardly a quick car in top end speed. Whatever reason that car has such a low top speed compared to uh, other vehicles like it. This kind of surface is where the uh, bowler excels. You can do the kind of speeds it could be do on the tarmac on this bit, as you can see doing. The 131 across the finish line there. So yeah, if you want an off-roader, an extreme one at least, go for the bowler. It's hard to beat. Obviously the Jeep Trailcat has more power and probably better acceleration, but this is better in terms of handling on the, off, on the rough stuff than that Trailcat is. And unlike the Trailcat, it doesn't have uber soft suspension, which makes it lift up a wheel or so at certain points which is handy when you're going that kind of speed off the road like that right we're going to go and do a showcase so which ones I think we'll do the Halo one it's some a kind of a tradition quite frankly on these games to do Halo ones ever since the first time the Warthog was involved in a Forza game I can't remember which one but they've been on plenty of the Forza games before so yeah, we'll go do that, and we'll finish up with that. Yeah, I like this bowler a lot, it's been on plenty of falls against before. 
And uh, yeah, it's more than capable of doing stuff on road, just as much off as off road as well. At the roundabout, take the first exit. In 400 yards, turn right. Not many of those extreme off roaders that we just race against can do the kind of speeds this car can. I would like the uh, original bowler to be on this game, or at least the fourth of the game, because that was a, a pretty immense yards, vehicle as well. Right. First seen, I think, on TV turn at least, right. on Top Gear. There's a new house here, but I don't think I can afford that being near the centre of Edinburgh. This car can handle just as well on road and can off road. But the kind of speeds we're just doing then is a testament to how well engineered this car is. In 400 yards, turn right. Although Nissan ramming into that Volkswagen Bora there, or Jetta, whichever one it is. you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. I can see that. It's a shame it's all the way out here on the beach. Right. Initializing UNSC training protocol 165FD. Hello Cortana. Long time no here because I've not really played any of the recent Halo games. Because... Halo 4 really didn't interest me at all when I tried it out and Halo 5 just passed me by so yeah not really bothered with them ever since Halo ODST I think so or Halo 3 whichever one of them came first but here's Master Chief no that's Pirates of the Caribbean I've forgotten the uh, theme tune now hello the ongoing and evolving threat posed by an increasingly focused covenant, all frontline UNSC personnel are expected to complete the following training exercise. Upon completion of the training exercise, please submit results to UNSC Fleetcom for assessment. I will do. <laughs> really? This is Kilo Actual. <laughs> Cortana, do you read me? Wow. <laughs> I was expecting this to be on the normal map, but I wasn't expecting it to have this. I mean, granted, it probably is the normal map, map just with all of this laid around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't know. Looks like a fortification of some kind, but it hasn't been used in centuries. Is that a Spartan? We're gonna make it home after all. Okay, new LZ found. We don't have long. This ring is this gonna is go nuclear cool. in three minutes, and we do not want to be here when it does. Hey, keep your head down. There's two of us in here now. Marines, I've added coordinates to your nav. Be there for evac in three minutes. Roger that, Cortana. Hoorah! 
Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. Just go straight up here. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off road. Oh dear. Yeah, if I had completely not acknowledged the corner. Yeah, I don't want to get shot by a banshee. Hoorah! Hoorah! Yeah, this is the best Halo influence bit on any Forza game yet. By far. They've really had fun with this one, I can tell. Whoa. At least I've not bothered shooting at us yet. I'm sending you coordinates for an LZ, requesting immediate evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. Cortana, I'm getting a green from three, four, make that five pelicans. En route to the LZ. You and the Marines had better be there soon. Cortana, I can't follow you through there. I'll see you on the other side. That's not the most no reassuring choice of words. This cave is not a natural formation. Woo, it's go! not a cave, it's a tunnel. Of Halo. Oh, I swear you could go for them in the game. I guess this isn't entirely Hoorah! accurate. Speed, Cortana, come on, we don't want to be on here. LZ is right ahead. We have 30 seconds before the ring superstructure begins to collapse. Oh shit, nearly hit that banshee there. Oh dear. <laughs> that was close. Fine. Horizon Festival training module complete. Initiating upload of results to UNSC Fleetcom. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I was expecting just to f be against one of those flying things, whatever you call it, uh, pelicans. I was expecting just to be uh, racing against one of them. Was not expecting them to involve, you know, banshees and some of the props from the actual game. Give me something good for that f uh, fun experience, please. See what I mean? Who in their own mind will want to wear that? <sighs> and it's rare, apparently. Why? Who knows why? Probably because nobody ever wants them. But yeah, there we go. That was a pretty fun way to end this episode on. Apart from the, uh, obviously, poor wheel spin result. So let's see what it's got for us when it loads back up. Anything at all? I hate loading times on this game. Nope, is that it? Right, yeah, well, there we go. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.